What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. A very fun one. As you see in front of us, we have four blaster boxes of 2018-19 Panini Prism Basketball uh, retail. So six packs and four cards in each pack, one auto or mem. Uh, people ask, you know, it says auto or mem and how often or how easy is, or hard is it, I guess, to pull an autograph. And, you know, while we don't know for sure, um, my, my guess would be they're about one in every you know case and a half i'd say around there uh if you get an auto they're usually just like the case hit there's 20 uh 20 boxes in each blaster case i actually have a blaster case and this is the first four boxes from it um and i only expect maybe one auto or maybe like two patches um but definitely not both it, the hits wise definitely you're not getting um your crazy hits from here it's mainly the color and the silvers that make these such a, a good value and yeah, I mean, these blasters range anywhere from 15 to 30. Honestly, I've seen them all over the place. So, good luck. 15, obviously, will be very rare, but I have seen them and actually got these ones for 15. So, all right, let's uh, rip into these the first four. I do have you know so much Prism stuff, and I know uh, some of you love it. Some of you will get sick of it. I don't want to just you know flood your, your sub feeds with just all my Prism stuff. So, I'm going to try to bunch it together. So, I don't, instead of having 20 videos, I'll have probably 10 videos in total. Um, but, you know, we'll see. So I'm starting with the first four. I will probably scoot these to the side here. Uh, by the way, the green pulsars and the purple waves are what uh, are the parallels exclusive to the blaster. So every retail SKU has their own exclusives, and the green pulsar is number to 25 is the one from these ones. So let's get my little handy dandy knife and get into these. So I'm just filming so much different prism stuff, just left and right. Uh, if it seems, you know, if you see some sort of context error or something that doesn't, continuity-wise, it doesn't make sense, or, you know, just keep in mind that some of these maybe might have been filmed at random times, all at the same time, who knows, before something crucial happened, before or after something happened, so, I mean, I'm just, like, recording all of them, because I have a huge itch to rip them, and of course I want to get them all on video, because eventually we're going to pull something nice, and I want it to be on video. Ever since I pulled that Soto off camera, I want to pull everything else on camera. So here's the first blaster. Um, thick pack is right at the back. So let's just get into the packs. I'm really hoping we can get a nice rookie green pulsar or purple wave. All right. I'm going to kind of just fly through this. I don't want this to be too long. So here's the base and here's the back. All right. Wendell Carter is our rookie. And Bill Walton dominance. Dylan Brooks. All right. Prison retail. So much fun. Not too expensive, and yeah, just widely available. That's one thing I like about it too. Okogi and Bridges, two good rookies. Mergent of Sexton and Miles Turner. That one's being a little stubborn. All right, we have a green. Could it be a rookie? We have KG, Tyreek, and Patrick Ewing. Not a rookie, but I am a fan of Patrick Ewing. So not a bad one to get. And uh, Kyrie Thomas. For some reason, the first two open pretty easily. And then these ones are kind of just like a little stiff. We have a silver. Is it going to be a rookie? Not a rookie. I guess this whole reveal method only works, uh, works with every rookie card except for the... Uh, Shy Gilgis Alexander, who is, um, he doesn't have the rookie card logo. There are a few errors in this year's Prism, as we all know. And actually, this one feels, hmm, they both feel thick. I'm actually going to start with this one. This one feels thinner, but this one feels, there's not fillers in this, is there? I don't know, this is just a regular pack. Maybe one of them has a, a little bit of a bend or a bow to it. Oh yeah, this back one does, see? There you go. Whenever you have a card with a bend or a bow like this, the pack will feel thick, but it's not actually thick. So we have a Svi, Kyle Lowry, Grayson Allen insert, and a Rudy Gobert with a little bend to it. All right, here's our hit pack. Now, in one of my earlier videos, I did say that the, um, the autographs were possibly thick cards like last year. Of course, I haven't confirmed it yet, I haven't seen any autos pulled. Hopefully, I can pull one and we can confirm it. But if it's anything like last year, the thick pack will have either an auto or a mem because the autos were thick, I remember, from last year. 
So Javon Carter and Kevin Knox. Pull this base card. It's Mark Gasol. And Courtney Lee. Oh, I feel the jersey card. So it is a jersey card. I feel the little... There you go. Is it game worn? It is game worn. So that's a plus about these blasters is you are getting game worn memorabilia, which just for me, I personally really enjoy that. All right, let's rip this next blaster. So one down, three to go in this break and 19 left in the case. I'm contemplating getting another blaster case. Maybe just rip that one off camera. I'm not too sure. Maybe if you guys want to see it, I'll just upload them. And if you don't want to watch them, of course you don't have to, but you never know. We might pull some something big. Always fun to hang out and record this stuff. And this one pack just got separated from the bunch. And maybe that's the one with the big hit in it. All right, so uh, we'll put this little lost pack. We'll call him Nemo. Put him at the end, actually, this time. And we have like this. All right, keep going. Really hoping for some color. No color. All right, two base cards, hall monitors uh, of Bill Russell and Jason Tatum. I believe these are all just for Hall of Fame players. That's why it's called Paul Monitors. I think a few people were asking about that set. Another Jason Tatum right there. Do we have a silver? Yes, we do. Still have yet to pull a silver rookie from here, I think. I'm not sure, though. Graham, I always, I always forget what I pull. Um, Patty Mills. Be cool to put that whole silver set together, but it'll, it'll be uh, very tough. Especially pulling the LeBron. I feel like that might be tough to pull for some reason. Anything LeBron, because he doesn't sign, his stuff just goes for a ton. And of course, he's you know one of the best players ever, so his stuff is very valuable. We have a green, two greens. Not a rookie, but here we go. We have Clyde Drexler, green dominance. Speaking of LeBron, he's right there. And Dante Exum, green. And Paul Pierce. So the last three packs, I think, ended on a Celtic. Rookie on the back. We have a silver, but it is an insert. And it's, oh, DiVincenzo on the front. It's Shaq, hall monitors, silver. George Gervin, dominance, and Bruce Brown. Oh, oh this is our thick pack. Paul Pierce on the back again. This is the last pack, a oh, last card Celtic box, I guess. Pat Beverly, Ryan Anderson, and Tim Hardaway Jr. Yeah, cool. All right. Uh, also, game worn. Very nice. I like that. Paul Pierce. And this is the pack that was the stray one. Maybe we can get a nice silver or color parallel in this one. Boom. What a pack. All right. Well, that's why we saved that pack. So we had Andre Gudala. Uh, Bruce Brown again. We have a purple wave of Alec Burks. Now a calf. That's nothing crazy, so I'm just gonna leave it. I'll put it here. Uh, Wendell Carter. Oh, ah! are you alright, Wendell? Card looks fine. Whew. Okay, yeah. Um. All right. I feel bad. I just dropped the poor guy. Looks fine. Thank God. I'm glad it didn't land on its corner. Like, I'm not gonna. Give you a demonstration of what that would look like but there we go a very good blaster wendell carter silver for example if i dropped it like this like it felt like this if it dropped like this i mean th there goes the corner so i'm very blessed uh gotta hold on to these tighter i mention this all the time this card room that i recorded um when it's the winter here it's ice cold absolutely freezing so my hands like very numb it's so cold in here and so it doesn't help when it comes to holding nice, valuable cards in your hand. That Wendell Carter, is it, you know, the Luka Doncic crazy valuable one? No, but Wendell Carter is going to be a good player, and it's nice to get a rookie silver. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, here we go. <laughs> All right. I was about to say, there's, a, there's no thick one. Maybe the autos are thin, or maybe we got points. You can get points, which, if it replaces a mem card, I'm not completely against it, because the mem card's only worth, like, a couple bucks. But if it's replacing an auto, then I'm going to be pretty tight. Get hyped, KP. 
the Aaron Fox. Now I'm looking around my card room right now and it is incredibly messy. So I need to clean this place. All right, we have a purple wave. Oh, couldn't be a rookie. Alan Crabb, that was a cool kind of looking one because you know, I saw the basketball, I was like, oh, what's this? And then it's Alan Crabb, not a rookie, but that's, that's nice. No green pulsars yet. Carl Malone, silver. That's a good one. I don't think I have that one yet. So I re I'm really interested by the time I finish ripping all this prism, everything, I want to see how many of those silvers I have. It'd be sweet to put together the whole set. Probably just keep it just for fun. The year that I went just nuts on Prism. Hopefully the first of many. Good thing about Prism is it's not really a, like a, you're not risking too much because it's so easy to get value in this stuff. So like you think that oh I'm spending you know a couple hundred on Prism, and you can easily make that value back. Whereas other some products you you know put a ton of money in and you get nothing out. So you gotta be I'm always careful. I'm, I'm very you know despite what I do I'm very risk averse so I don't like to always ooh. Emergent, Luka Doncic, hey. Yeah, I don't like to um, invest too much in products I don't think will deliver. Not bad for Blaster so far. Two purple waves, no green pulsars. We had a Luka, we had Wendell Carter Silver, Get Hyped, Kyrie, and Tuan Moore. All right, our hit pack in box number three. Maybe it's a Luka. See a little bit of blue on there. Kevin Herter, Aaron Gordon. Pretty cool. Little jersey card in there. Game worn material. All right, and Melvin Frazier. Last blaster for this break. I, I'm very tempted to go get some more of this because this stuff is so good. It's really, really cheap, and it's um, it's amazing. Alright. Last box for this break. Here we go. Wish me luck. Let's get a rookie purple or green pulsar. Oh, let's find the thick pack. I think it's already on the back. Alright. Nothing there. Moritz Wagner. There we go. We have Derek Rose playing well, Mergent, Miles Bridges, and Fred Van Vliet. I remember I had a Fred Van Vliet, like a couple autos of him, and this was their draft autos, and I just sold them for a buck. I mean, I don't really, I'm not stressing it, but I'm, I remember that player specifically. Now he's he's all right. Um, Me Too, Levine, Okogi, Freshman Phenoms, and Bogdanovich. Come on, something rookie. We already had the Wendell Carter, but I would love, ooh, maybe the green one can be a rookie. I'd love something else rookie, ah. Um, Dwayne Dedman and Kemba Walker. Gorgie Jeng, green, and Justin Jackson. Three packs left for this break. All right, we have Jamal Murray. We have a Paul Pierce dominant silver, dominance of Big O, and Jabari. Here we go. Second to last pack. I don't think we have anything in this one. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Something's backwards. And reveal. Autograph of AK-47. Andre Karolinko. So we did get an autograph. And they're thin ones. So I guess this one... Alright, well, yeah, there we go. So that was not a thick pack. It just looked thick. And we got an autograph. So now the question is, will we get another autograph in this case, or is that the... I don't think that was the big hit, but we'll see what happens. Mecha Okafer. All right, so we're not clicking anything in this pack. Unless we get some nice... Ooh. We got the purple and a silver. Be a rookie. Oh, man. Oh, double no rookie. Trey Burke and Chris Dunn silver. Oh, man. A lot of p packs. We had this purple. There's a big print line across there. And um, a silver and no rookies. Jerry West. Oh, no, I think we hit the Wendell Carter. So I lied. All right, well, not bad at all. We did hit, I'm not going to go too deep into this pile, but we did hit some purples, as you can see. I'm just going to fly through. You see the silvers, you see the color, you see the greens. No green pulsars. No green pulsars yet. 
So hopefully we hit some of those. I would definitely want one of those. Andre Karolinko autograph. Aaron Gordon game more material. Luka Doncic emergent. We have purple, silver Wendell Carter, Alec Burks, and two more jersey cards. Very cool. So honestly, four blasters, not bad at all. Um, cost me, what, 60 bucks for those four blasters. We hit the AK auto, and that's not worth a crazy ton, but it's an autograph. The game more material of Gordon with the Luka, of course. Wendell Carter silver, and that. So not bad at all. I could probably get to end it on the Wendell because I love rookie silvers. So that's going to do it for the first four boxes of the blaster case, and technically, I guess boxes four five six and seven in total not bad so far so good hopefully we can still have some good luck in the rest of the boxes and hit some green pulsars rookies and some purple rookies so that's gonna do it for this one stay tuned for tons of more videos i have just videos among videos just waiting to be uploaded or and recorded so um stay tuned for all those and yeah prism retail rocks so thanks for watching please like and sub and i'll see you guys later